Hi, this is Crystal Star from Eye Chakra Zen Center, and today we're talking about the heart chakra. I want to teach you everything you need to know about the heart chakra, what it does, what we can expect to receive from our heart chakras. So whenever I start talking about the heart chakra, the first thing people always think about is giving and receiving love in relationships and romance and family, but that's a very common misconception because the core of the heart chakra is gonna sound cheesy, it's gonna sound cliche, but it stems from inner love. You cannot have a satisfying relationship unless you love yourself fully, unconditionally. And a good test to see if you truly do love yourself is to say it out loud. I love myself inside and out. I love myself flaws and all. I love myself unconditionally. If you could say that without hesitating, without flinching, and say it and feel comfortable, then that's a sign that you do truly have inner love. But most people will hesitate on saying those specific affirmations. The heart chakra is going to control your lungs, your heart, your chest, upper chest area, even some of your shoulders and upper back and shoulder blades. So make a list of any pain or problems you're having there, like let's say asthma or heart palpitations, heart problems. These are red flags that not only is there something wrong in the heart chakra, but you may actually have toxic energy here. Once an energy becomes so bad, you could actually feel it. And even a doctor could see that something is wrong. That's when we label it toxic. A good way to tell whether or not your heart chakra is spinning too fast or too slow is pay attention to the way you treat people in your life. Are you overly dependent on them? Is your happiness dependent on being in a relationship? Do you easily let people into your heart? Do you wear your feelings on your sleeve? These are all red flags that the chakra is spinning too fast. Now, on the other hand, if it's very difficult to get into your heart emotionally, if you do not let people in easily, if you have a bit of an emotional wall around you, then it might be the opposite. The heart chakra might be spinning too slow. You're going to have to really be honest about yourself. Be honest about your strengths and your flaws so that you could figure out what's going on in your heart chakra. Now, when the heart chakra spins, it creates a specific frequency, and that frequency ripples out into the universe, which tells the universe what kind of people to bring into your life. And again, that all depends on how you feel about yourself, but it could control, are you bringing in loving people? Are you bringing in toxic people, needy people, people who fulfill you emotionally and make you feel like you're overflowing with love? Pay attention to the type of people you keep meeting, even if it's in work, friendships, family, romance. You're going to find a pattern, and that pattern will tell you what the frequency is doing, because the frequency is very much like a computer code. That computer code could have error codes, and you'll see that error just repeat over and over in your life until you fix the problem. If you need to know more about how to tell whether the chakra is spinning too fast or spinning too slow, you can always leave your comments at the bottom and I'll be happy to reply to your questions and help you figure out what you need to do. Remember, the heart chakra is going to associate with the green color, pink color, so try to bring that into your life more and more if you're working on the heart chakra. I would love to answer any questions you may have. Like and subscribe.